So what is the perfect packaging? It is a product that should arrive safely, securely, and attractively for your customers. Use sustainable materials for the environment and a marketing angle because from the research that we've seen, more than 50% of the people out there would prefer sustainable packaging and they actually have a much more positive experience with your brand if they are sustainable uh, materials that you're using. Here's an example of what bad packaging looks like, okay? So my wife ordered something from Sephora. This is a huge giant box. They have a lot of paper in here and bubble wrap and this is a small little item that arrived, which blows my mind on how people can, even such a big brand, can have such a poor experience when it comes to delivery and shipping. So definitely this is something that you should learn from and not to do for your specific food concept. Now, the three reasons why packaging is so, so important. First of all, customer experience. We talked about in the previous lesson, the customer journey, the touch points, and really what sets you apart is the customer experience. So your packaging plays a really key role in that as well as a crucial initial touch point that sets the tone for the rest of the experience. If the packaging is horrible, for example, like this, this sets a tone of like, oh my goodness, this is horrible already. Like it puts me in a bad mood already just by looking at this. I wouldn't be happy about it. Whereas if I'm looking at this box, even before drinking the water, I'm intrigued by the designs. I'm intrigued by the packaging. So I would be much more uh, happier and I'll be actually be excited to try out this water, right? So that's the reason why having good packaging is very, very important. Next up, marketing material. When you create something uh, for the packaging, it can also act as a marketing material for you. Include something that is branded and also reusable. We find this over and over again, especially sustainability is a huge, huge deal in today's world. And that's the reason why when you include a glass bottle like this for people to reuse, they will most likely reuse it, they'll keep it in their home, and it acts as a marketing tool for you all the time. So whenever I'm using this mason jar, I always think about Ernest ice cream. And when I think about Ernest ice cream enough, I will go and buy it. So therefore, I become a forever customers for them. So think about for your case, what can you include in your packaging that is reusable? Next up, brand recognition. When you have the proper packaging, it stands for something and it builds your brand credibility and it also has your unique identity to it. So whenever I see this type of packaging, it invokes a certain feeling inside me and it allows me to remember, oh right, this is Nora's ice cream because of the pastel um, coloring when it comes to their packaging. It's just like, hey, I remember them right away. It ensures that people know about your brand and remember your brand and can order from you, from you again and again. So those are the three reasons why having packaging is so, so important. Now, how do I even create and have inspiration for the perfect packaging? First up, plan out everything. Second is to use the quick brainstorming exercises, which I'll be uh, sharing with you. First, list out everything that is needed within your whole packaging. What I mean by that is, if it's ingredients that you have, list them all out physically in front of you because that's what's really gonna inspire you for different ideas and different packaging for each individual ingredient or you can bundle them together. Or if you have a food product, put it in front of you. How are you gonna be able to package it properly, right? So having the item in front of you at its final form allows you to be inspired and to create custom packaging for it. If it is a cooked product, lay it out in front of you. So for example, if it's a pickle brine spicy fried chicken, how many pieces, right? So we're talking about meal kit, right? Three pieces of chicken in a freezer bag. Is there a sauce? Hot sauce in a reusable bo a bottle. Side dish, pickles inside a little branded jar. Any other toppings, sea salt, thyme, whatever the case may be. When it's everything is in front of you, when all the ingredients are in front of you, you can have different ideas for the proper packaging. Next up is to find inspiration online. Look for cool branding packaging ideas on Pinterest. I find that Pinterest is the best way for you to find inspiration, especially when it comes to packaging. There's a lot of unique designs on Pinterest and it is something that I use over and over again for all the different product launches that we have. So definitely go on Pinterest, create an account, 
and start creating your own inspiration board. So you might be wondering like, how do I find inspiration for packaging? Well, type in first of all, the word or the feeling that you're trying to go after for your specific food brand. Next up, put a space and then write down either food concept, your specific food concept or packaging, right? So for example, word or feelings, uh, modern, cute, professional, minimal, depending on the feeling that you're going after for your specific concept, then you can match it up with, let's say if I'm selling uh, cookies, I can write down cookies or cookie packaging, right? Or cute cookie packaging. And then a lot of different images will Im uh, immediately pop up. And that's how I find inspiration for all my different designs and businesses. Now it is your turn. How will you uniquely package your products? How can you be inspired by it? Create it, put it in front of you physically, okay? And that will inspire you. Second is to start your packaging Pinterest board right now, okay? Now go out there and create your perfect packaging and be inspired. We're not creating the packaging right now, we're just getting inspired and thoughts and concepts of how to create your packaging. In the, pre in the next few lessons, we're gonna be talking about how you source it and how you can actually create your packaging. Now go out there and be inspired. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.